I created the DistroTube channel seven years ago. It's been right at seven years. Actually, I created the DistroTube channel in October of 2017. And of course, I've created a large subscriber base. I've gotten tens of millions of views on all of these, like 2,000 videos I've made on Linux over the past seven years. But you know what? It was a struggle, especially in the early days. When you first start a YouTube channel, sometimes it can be a real struggle to get people to actually watch your videos, to get those first few views use and then to get some subscribers you know and get the basically the snowball rolling and for me I had some help in those early days because of other Linux YouTubers some of the more established channels helped me get to where I am they were giving me shout outs they were letting some of their viewers know about me and I want to pay it forward I want to do that today today I want to share with you seven smaller Linux youtubers that not a lot of you guys probably know about but you probably should be subscribed to and I've done a couple of these kinds of videos in the past where I give shout outs to smaller content creators I know I've it's been a while I think the last one I did was about three or four years ago so today I'm going to share with you some Linux YouTubers that you should be following here in 2024. So the first channel I want to recommend is Bread on Penguins. Now this is a really new channel. It's only been going for about a month or two, but you know, she's already got a little more than 4,000 subscribers. That's crazy. That's that's insane to get that many subscribers so quickly. So I really don't have to shout this person out. They're doing just fine on their own, but I'm still going to give them a shout out because I think you guys should go check her out. Fantastic content. It's mostly the kind of minimalist content that you used to get from old school uh, Linux YouTubers like Luke Smith. Of course, you know, I, I did a lot of minimalist content. You know, I talk about a lot of tiling window managers and Vim command line tools and stuff like that. Uh, this person does the same thing. She focuses a lot on minimalist window managers like DWM. She talks a lot about Arch Linux, the command line, a lot of scripting. You can see she's got a video recently about Fuzzy Finder. So, I mean, occasionally she walks around and talks to herself in the woods. So it's really, it's almost like it's Luke Smith in female form. So I think she's going to do really well here. I, she's already doing fantastic again to have that many subs in such a short amount of time. I think a lot of it is, of course, the fantastic content. And a lot of people really crave this kind of command online scripting window manager kind of content i also think it really helps that she is a female in a male dominated space because when it comes to tech and the linux space if you just look at my analytics or any of our tech youtubers analytics it's like 97 to 98 percent male is our audience it's all men all the time and that's why typically your tech related content creators are 97 to 98% men. It's just, you know, men are naturally gravitate to the tech space. Not as many women are in that space. So when we, you know, get a, a young lady that is interested in this stuff and is putting out fantastic content, I, again, I think she's going to do really well in this space. The next channel I want to recommend to you guys is the Linux Creative Project. Now, this channel is also rather new, only been around for about five months or so. They've only put out 10 videos, but they've already got uh, more than a thousand subscribers on those 10 videos. So that's actually not bad. And I think it's because of the really fantastic content and again, and uh, not a, a terribly large amount of videos yet. Hopefully they put out more content in the future. But what you got here is you have a guy that he went from using a Mac and he switched to Linux. So he's switching from Mac to Linux and he's trying to see if he can get all of his work done, especially his creative work. So he really focuses on creative software. He focuses on video editing and image editing, photo management tools. He also talks a little bit about just standard desktop applications on Linux as well. But because he's coming at it from that creator perspective, especially a creator that used a lot of professional kind of tools on Mac and now he's coming to Linux trying to use all this free and open source software on Linux. You know, I think it's a, a really neat kind of topic for a channel. You know, it's, it's a little niche, you know, free and open source software, creative tools on Linux. But you know what? I love it. And I've been enjoying his videos. The great thing about this guy, too, is uh, he speaks well on camera, got great audio equipment, obviously being a creator. You know, he really focuses on production. I, I love the thumbnails, just everything about this channel. I think this guy deserves a million more subscribers than what he currently has. I think it's this channel is criminally underrated and I wanted to share that with you. 
Next up is the Linux Renaissance. Now, Linux Renaissance is a little bit different than the other channels I've recommended so far because this is mostly talking head videos. If you like watching a guy talk about things, you know, it's mainly a head on screen, kind of like, you know, my talking head videos where I just sit here and, you know, BS with you guys. And, you know, a lot of his stuff is like that. If you go into his videos, you can see he's going to chat about uh, Firefox and from Amiga to uh, Linux and uh, some valve stuff and now it's not all talking head videos there's some tutorial stuff in here as well if i go into videos and search by popular i mean he's even got some windows stuff in here but occasionally he does some tutorial uh, videos like he's installing arch linux he's got some uh topics here that are not necessarily strictly like desktop linux related like he talks a lot about mobile he talks uh, about the steam deck on occasion and again there's even some windows stuff although the windows stuff is mostly criticizing windows and if you look at some of his oldest videos if i were scroll way back i believe he even had some uh emacs videos back in the day yeah he, he did uh, some stuff on emacs as well so guys go check out linux renaissance again uh, he's another one that's got a, a really good audio setup as far as his microphone and everything really good quality audio so if you want to just you know listen to somebody chat about linux and, and tech related topics in general check out linux renaissance the next channel I want to recommend is The Linux Way. Now, this is another new channel. Not a lot of videos here. Only 10 videos published. But being a rather new channel, I've got to say, this is uh, very well done. You, you can already see with the uh, thumbnails, really fantastic thumbnails. I like the channel header and all the channel artwork. And, you know, but even the topics here, I mean, there's some good stuff here as far as where to start with Linux. As far as uh, you're a beginner, you're switching from Windows to Linux. Where do you start? start and then he talks about various design you know creative software on linux he talks about installing cache os and arch linux and he's got a couple of gaming related videos here recently but i definitely wanted to add this guy to my list of, of channels you guys should go subscribe to because again he's only done 10 videos but they're so well done and you can tell this channel has a lot of potential and i hope you know, when these smaller channels, the reason I pump them is because I don't want some of these newer creators to get discouraged and maybe quit making content because I do think we need more Linux content, more free and open source software content out there. So guys, go check out the Linux way. The next channel I want to talk about is Linux Next. Now, Linux Next is a established channel. I mean, they've already got more than 7,000 subscribers. They're definitely the largest uh, channel I'm going to talk about today. So it's not necessarily a brand new channel, but I do think, you know, at only 7,000 subscribers, they could use a little more love because they've put out more than 125 videos. So they've put in a ton of work. The channel is two years old and there's just some great stuff here. This particular creator obviously talks a lot about Linux uh, specific Linux distros it talks a lot about Fedora I believe they use Fedora there's some discussions on Cache OS and Arch Linux there's even some Debian videos I think uh, he talks about desktop environments he uses plasma he, he also tries out like some of the latest goings on with cosmic the cosmic desktop there's a lot of gaming stuff here as well so you know a good wide variety of videos about Linux again he's already published more than 100 25 videos and you know again i just i want to give these creators love so guys go check out linux next the next channel is also another channel that already has a little bit of a following, more than 4,000 subscribers. This is Professor Linux. Now, this is going to be the most different of the group as far as this has nothing to do with desktop Linux. This is a certified Red Hat engineer, a guy that focuses mainly on security and networking. Obviously, it's all about the server. So his videos are mainly about the server, not about desktop Linux. Now, I don't live in the server space. I don't work an IT job. A lot of this stuff I personally wouldn't be interested in. Now, he's got some stuff that I would be interested in because there is some crossover between some topics on the server as far as they also do translate to desktop Linux. For example, his most recent video, what is the path in Linux? Well, everybody needs to know that, not just people that work on servers, but even people that run Linux on the desktop need to know about the path on Linux. And there's a lot of useful videos that do have some crossover into the desktop. There's a lot of command line tools and stuff that he talks about that do have a place as far as 
if you're mainly a desktop Linux user. Of course, if you're in the IT space, if you really want videos about security and networking, then obviously Professor Linux is definitely a channel you want to subscribe to. And the last creator I want to talk about today is Linux Hub. Now, Linux Hub, they've got about 1,800 subscribers, but they've put out more than 290 videos. They've made 300 videos over about two years is how old this channel is. So they put in a ton of work and to only have 1800 subscribers. Again, I think it's criminally underrated for the content that they put out because this is content that I think is popular or should be much more popular because I know you guys love when I do my Linux distro installs and first looks, you know, quote, distro reviews, what some people will call them, although I really don't necessarily call what I do distro reviews, but this guy does basically the same thing. He does installs and first looks of various Linux distros. That's mainly these distro review type videos. And I don't do these kinds of videos as much now. I, I still do them on occasion, but you know, used to, I would do a couple of hundred of these kinds of videos every year, especially in the early days of the channel. Now I've tried out so many distros. I've tried out every distro at least a few times by now on camera. You know, I don't do these as much, but people still to this day ask me for more of this kind of content. Well, if you want more of this kind of content, guys, go check out Linux Hub. So there you have it, seven smaller Linux content creators that I think each and every one of you guys should go subscribe to their channel, support them, uh, let them know, hey, you, you like their work, you can't wait to see more of their work. It's one of the things that, you know, the Linux community, even though Linux is growing, certainly desktop Linux is exploding in popularity. Free and open source software is exploding in popularity. That's why we get so many of these new free and open source software creators and then Linux content creators. It's definitely a growing space, but we need more. <laughs> like we need to grow much more than what we are. We're still kind of a small, kind of tight knit niche community and we need to support each other. It's one of the old sayings, right? A rising tide lifts all boats. And I've been fortunate to have a little bit of success here with my YouTube channel. And again, I just want to pay it forward. So guys, I'm going to link to all of these seven channels in the description below. Please go subscribe. Now, before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank the producers of this episode, Matt, James, Steve, Armor Dragon, Darloff, Dayless, GDR, George Lee, Matthew, Methos, Erion, Paul, Peace, Arch of Ador, Realities for Less, Red Prophet, Roland, Solastri, Tunrun, War Gentle, and Ubuntu, and Willie. These guys, they're my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. Without these guys, this quick video about some Linux YouTubers you need to follow if you're not already following them. This video would not have been possible without these guys. This video also would not be possible without each and every one of these fine ladies and gentlemen. All these names you're seeing on the screen right now, these are all my supporters over on Patreon because I don't have any corporate sponsors. I'm sponsored by you guys, the community. If you like my work and want to see more videos about Linux and free and open source software, subscribe to DistroTube over on Patreon. Peace.